Hey everybody, it's Jessica from Fountain Creek Nature Center, and there's many reasons why I love this time of year, but hearing hummingbirds zooming over my head on my hikes and during my walks is one of them. And all summer long, it is a favorite pastime of mine to sit on my front porch and watch all the hummingbirds come to my feeders. So I am getting them out and clean and ready for them. So it's well known that hummingbirds like the color red, and yeah, they are attracted to red flowers, but they certainly don't know what color the nectar is inside of a flower, and so there's no reason for you to buy that dyed red hummingbird nectar that you can get at a store. You can make your own hummingbird nectar at home. It's the best recipe. It's just four parts water to one part sugar. So I am making my own at home today. So to make the sugar dissolve a little faster in my water, I am going to boil my four cups of water in a tea kettle before I add it to my one cup of sugar. So as for sugar, only use plain white table sugar. Organic sugar, brown sugar, honey molasses, all those other sweeteners have too much iron in them and that could end up harming your hummingbirds. So just plain white table sugar. So my water is just about boiling. I'm gonna add it to my sugar, give it a good stir, and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to help it cool down faster so I can put it out sooner. Now once this is out there for your hummingbirds, it's really important to clean your feeders. This sugar and water in the sunshine, that is a perfect place for mold, mildew, fungus, bacteria to grow and thrive and this sugar water could ferment and make your nectar alcoholic. You definitely don't want your hummingbirds getting into all that nasty stuff. And you don't want mama hummingbirds bringing that stuff back to their babies. They're gonna be nesting here in the springs this summer, of course. One more thing to think about, depending on where you live and how your hummingbird feeders are hung up, you might want to bring your feeders inside every night. Raccoons and bears would be very happy to tear down your feeders and get at that nectar for themselves. All right, that looks really well dissolved. I'm just gonna let it cool off. And while I'm letting it cool off, I'm going to wash the hummingbird feeder that I've already had outside for a couple weeks. How often you clean your hummingbird feeders will depend. You'll want to clean them once to three times per week. It really depends on how warm it's been getting outside. You always want your hummingbird nectar to be clear, colorless, and odorless. If it starts looking cloudy or smelling kind of funky, bring it in, empty it out, and give it a good cleaning with warm soapy water. Okay, my hummingbird nectar is cooled down and it's ready to go outside. One really common question is when do I put out my hummingbird feeders? And there is a way you can go online to see when hummingbirds or any other bird is going to be found in your area. Go to ebird.org slash explore. You can check out all the birds in your area by typing in your county or your state. But what I want to do is look at the broad-tailed hummingbird, since that is our most common hummingbird here in Colorado Springs. On this page, there are pictures taken of this bird here in El Paso County, identification information, and a range map. But what I really want to do is look at a weekly bar chart showing me when this bird is here. You can see that they began to trickle into the area in April, and now through the end of summer, they're here full force. Looking at the end of summer, they begin to leave in late September. So probably early October, that is when I'll start taking my feeders in, cleaning them and putting them away for the winter. Remember that through May, we might still get some really cold weather um, or some snow here in Colorado Springs. So make sure your hummingbird feeders are out so that those hummingbirds will have something to eat when they can't find the insects and the flowers that they need to survive on. 
Thank y'all for watching. The hummingbirds thank you too. Please leave me a comment and let me know um, when and where you saw your first hummingbird this year. I'm always excited to hear about hummingbirds this time of year. Happy birding everybody!